Hey folks, here OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review of a modular LED light strip set by YCDC. So the typical norm for lighting strips is to have a really long wheel or a long kind of wrapped roll that you can easily attach into ceilings and get a longer setup in a house or a big room. But this is really meant for smaller purposes, maybe on a small desk where you're limited on space or just for a small strip on a TV or a light where you don't want that super long length, but maybe the fidelity you might get in movement and uh, changing it and wrapping around different changing angles is more important. So this sells on Amazon for sub $15. You get four pieces included. Each of them are only half a meter long, so they're pretty short. It's controlled by USB power, which is pretty nice. It doesn't require a bulky external power source uh, or proprietary adapter, which we typically find. So this just plugs into any USB outlet, even a computer, and it turns it on. You have all the traditional controls as far as lighting patterns and colors. You can get a spectrum of those, white light, the brightness can be changed. There's flashing modes, strobing lights, fading lights, all those are just uh, pretty typical. So this is what the remote looks like, very standard. It's an IR remote, so you do have to be pointing it directly at the receiver for it to work, but uh, otherwise, not really too many complaints there. Packaging, very petite. Inside, there's just the four um, lighting strips. I want to show you guys how it attaches to each other uh, modularly. And there's also a quick user guide or a user manual that uh, tells you a bit more about the contact circuit diagram, which is pretty nifty and um, a bit more information about the company. So these strips themselves, uh, one complaint I do have about them is like any other strips I've tested for the most part, the adhesive isn't very strong. So they do tend to fall loose after a bit of time. So you kind of have to use your own tape um, to, to set it up more permanently if you have it on a freestanding environment. So what's nice about these is that they are also waterproof. They've been protected by a layer of uh, gel, as you can see here. So everything is sealed off completely from external sources, which makes them quite durable and strong. And you can see they can also be technically cut and resealed at these contact points if you want to. But um, essentially, we just have these two tips, which are, you can see, fully reversible, essentially. And it comes with these tiny little adapters, which you use to join the light strips together when you want to build these, almost like Lego pieces, um, if you buy more and more of these. Um, obviously not as cheap as just getting a traditional roll for that purpose if you want to go super long, but I just thought this was pretty cool. So obviously you would attach this end to another one, but this is what you know, attaching one to another contact point basically looks like. And it seals off pretty well, not too much of a gap, it's not too wide, it doesn't distract from the lighting effect. So it works really well. And, and there are also extension cables which you might use to just get a, a long, slightly longer cable length, maybe if you're going between uh, something like a desk and you're connecting it to the power source and you don't need it to be lit up, you can use just a traditional wire to pass the current and that's enough. So quite a few accessories are in here. It really allows you to customize the way that you want your lights to look, which I thought was quite unique and you know one of the selling points of this particular design. So I'll show you guys how it uh, looks when I've plugged into power and go through some Alright, so this is what the adapter looks like, plugged into the USB outlet on the other side. So it's pretty small and compact, but it's a bit of a weight that you have to support ideally on a table instead of on the wall or something that will drag the tape down. But this is what the IR sensor is located. Let's turn it on. This is what it looks like. It starts off at this uh, transitional mode where it just goes through the various colors in a typical kind of rainbow fashion, slowly fades in and out. And the quality of the lights are pretty good. I've tried bending them, kind of uh, using them for a while now, and it seems to all still work. There's no lights that are slightly going out or distorting or anything like that. Um, I can change the brightness here to make it brighter as well as dimmer. And if I go through specific colors, you can get a better idea of what it looks like. Green. So that's green. You can change to blue. There's a white light option, which turns all the lights on to create this brighter uh, tone. It's still slightly bluish, though, in terms of the hue. And some other lighting patterns, just to quickly go through them. So quite a few adjustments, as you would expect from this kind of stuff. So it makes for a good mood lighting set for a desk or a small room or environment. Smooth lights just uh, goes through these. That's actually the fade. And then the strobe, so a bit of a warning now. I'm going to tap on this. This is what that looks like. And then flash. So it works pretty well. I can also change the, the speed of these, of course the brightness if I want to make it brighter or slightly dimmer. So then I can turn it on or off as well pretty easily. Um, best of you know LED lighting, one of the attributes I like is it's extremely energy efficient and it will theoretically last you for hundreds and thousands of hours 
So you really don't have to worry about this breaking or damaging um, over time. So it seems to be quite versatile. So anyways, guys, it's really the concept here I thought was quite innovative and unique. The fact that these lights are modular and they have tiny little strips, but you have the ability to really customize them and, and extend them in ways that you don't get from a typical roll that I thought I wanted to share with you guys. So you can check out more details in our written article. But for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.